Hi friends, I'm coming to you today from what used to be Clemens Station, a stop along the Toledo and Ohio Central Railway between Granville and Alexandria. In the late 1800s, this was one of the more significant stops for that railway. It was a hub for the railway and it was a hub of services for the people who lived nearby. One of the reasons that it was such a good location was its proximity to Raccoon Creek and to an aquifer, which provided fresh groundwater. The railway company stored large amounts of coal here, which made it a refueling station for the trains. Now this was especially important because the trains that were going westbound needed to make sure they had plenty of water and coal for the climb up the hill between Alexandria and Johnstown. The station also had side rails which allowed for trains to meet and pass one another. It also allowed for empty cars to be stored. There was even a dormitory and a kitchen facility for crew members to rest and refuel themselves. Both the coal storage and loading facility and the dormitory were destroyed by fire and then rebuilt in 1901. The telegraph at Clemens Station was manned 24 hours a day, providing communication not only for the railroad but also for local families. The station could also receive shipments of crops, which saved area farmers the difficulty of transporting their harvest to Granville or to Alexandria. As vital as Clemens Station was, today all that remains is a plaque and some concrete foundations. It may no longer be a hub for travel and commerce, but it is part of a beautiful trail for exercise and the enjoyment of nature. This got me to thinking about life cycles and how change is often painful, but necessary for life and for growth. We've experienced a tremendous amount of change in the last year. And even as we start to move toward normal, there are still some things that are going to be different. The thing to remember is that different can be beautiful too. For example, as we move into the sanctuary for worship, you may not be able to sit in your pew, but it will be beautiful to see things from a new perspective. We may not sing songs together for a while, but it will be beautiful to listen more intently. We may not hug or shake hands, but it will be beautiful to feel a kindred closeness. We may have shorter services, but Who's gonna complain about that? I think you get my point. Whether it's worship or family gatherings or school activities or work habits or friendly hangouts, things are different and that's okay. Maybe even good, maybe even beautiful. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you soon.